What's up, it's Gigi Diaz, still hanging out in Cancun at Panama Jack Resorts. Evan is joining me right now, he's one of the chefs here. You cannot come to Mexico and not learn how to make authentic guacamole. So, where do we start? What's step one? The step one, first, always you need to wash your hands. Okay, definitely got that yeah. down. There is more important. Later, you can chop all the ingredients first. We got a lot of uh, different kind of make guacamole. Okay. Very, very mash one or in small pieces. We make a little bit of everything, all right? Nice, and which one are we gonna make right now? The mash one. Mash one, okay, yeah. so what are the ingredients? What are we I looking at? I got purple onion, I got it already roasted. Okay, I got purple cucumber. onions. Yeah, I got tomato, uh, coriander, avocado, little bit of chili, and lime juice. Beautiful, and, and what do we squish Always, for? always in the kitchen, you need some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, always. Yeah, Can't always. go wrong with that. Okay, so what's step one? The step one, we need the avocados. The so, avocados first? Yes. Okay. We got a spoon. Okay. I show you the easier way. Okay, yes, okay. you show me all the tricks. All the tricks. I'm obviously not very good in the kitchen, so you need you to need teach me all the steps. Put the spoon inside and turn okay. around. Okay. Inside they, and They come together in one piece. What? That's awesome. <laughs> Let me take this whisk okay. first. Okay. And I uh, jump. Okay. Yeah. In the and you inside. go. I got uh, a <laughs> One more? Yeah. Watch, need, I'm an expert already. We need maybe five or six. Five or six? Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. Always take care about the bone. Yes. You see on the internet many people put the injuries his hand. Yeah. Why? Because they use the knife in this way Ooh. and try to. Okay. It's a bad idea. Only need to move a little oh, bit. Oh, very nice. It's easier. I definitely don't want to try that though. You don't oh. want to give me a no, knife. No, no. I am way not. too clumsy for a knife. Okay. So scoop and yeah. spin. This I can do. I can do this all day. Check this out. Bam. You can ah. make some guacamole for your family. Yes. Okay. okay. So we've got this ready in yeah. here. What's the next step? What are the we going to do step? next? We need mash the the avocado with the whiskey. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Is there a trick to this? Or no, just squish, only, squish, only squish, squish. All right. I can squish this. We don't need a paste, so between soft and hard, it's a good texture. Between soft and hard works. Yeah. Okay. And remember, right. always you need to stay your hands and your face clean. This I can do. I can definitely do that. Okay. How's it looking? What do you think? Uh, more mashed. More mashed? Okay, yeah. oh my goodness. This is a workout. Evan, you got me working out here. I'm yeah. going to have biceps by the end of this. You don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> no gym today. <laughs> Lucky you have to go to the gym all the time. Okay, okay, so we are all mashed up. We've got our, our avocados in here. Okay. What are we going to do next? The next, uh, I can take the whisk. Are you sure you want yeah, this? Yes, save all this part. Bam. It's inside. In you go. No guac left behind. Yeah. And take a little spoon. Okay. We add the ingredients and we need to put some salt and pepper. Okay. And at the end, lime juice. Okay. So we start with the cucumber. Cucumbers, all yeah. of it? No, no. Just, Just a a two spoons. Bit? Two spoons. Yeah. Like that's that? it because we make guacamole. The avocado is the most part. Okay. okay. What's that? The other next, uh, it's tomato. Also two spoons? Yeah. All right, so that's one and two. I love tomatoes though. Up, up, yeah? a little bit one. Extra tomatoes! Because you I'm love tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Okay. What's next? Did you see the cut is a little... Uh, yeah, they're like little cubes. Yeah, okay. it's a little cubes. You can make it thinner if you want. Uh-huh. All right. The onion. These purple onions, have they been cooked? Yeah. How did you make them? You sautéed them? Mm, yeah, uh, and I put in the oven a few minutes. Oh, that's okay, so that's a secret. Yeah, for make the onion a little um, sweetest. Oh, sweeter, nice, yeah. there you go. You learned that right here on 93.9 MIA with Erin straight from Cancun, Mexico. That, now you know, what's this? Chili, some chili. chili. How some? much spicy you eat? I love spicy. Okay, then all right. everything. All of it? Oh yeah. my goodness, beware now. That's it. That's I it. I take out the seeds, so it's less spicy. That's good. Yeah. Okay, that's and a good call. This kind of chili is uh, serrano. Serrano chili. Yeah. So now you know when you're doing your shopping. And now okay. what? Okay, then you can mix, mix it, up? it. Yeah. Okay, take a look at this here. Try I to love do all these emblem. colors. Yeah, that's it. These colors look beautiful, and I can already smell 
all the different. Do you smell this? The I can, onions, yeah, right? the onions. It's amazing. Okay. Okay. Later. So, what's next? We need some salt and pepper and lime juice. All right. Okay. So salt and pepper, just a pinch. Uh, maybe three pinches. Three pinches. Or four. So one. Two, what is a pinch anyway? <laughs> three. And three, that's okay, it. three pinches. Okay. You can always just do that to taste, right? And okay. it depends on how much you yeah. have. It's, uh, each one can choose. Okay. I got some slices of lime. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Many people like too much the lime, so uh -huh. we yeah. add a little bit. All right. All right. This is fun. I know. <laughs> this is almost therapeutic making this, and it's so easy, right? It's very easy. Am I spraying lime all over the camera? <laughs> my face, my face. All right, now. And the last one. The last one. What do we have to do next? Just stir it up, right? Yeah. Get all those flavors in there, nice and mixed up. I love it. Oh, this smells amazing. I wish you could smell this right now. What is the fun part coming, Eric? Because this is entertaining, but I want to eat it. All right, I got some <laughs> is tortilla that nice? chip because you need to try. Always try everything you make. Try as you go? Yeah. Okay, I, I need to tell you a secret. You can uh, use the same spoon uh -huh. for opening your mouth. So mm -hmm. in the kitchen, we got a little secret. You put a little piece on the back on, on your the pan. Back. Wait, yeah. I want to try that. And that looks really good. Cool. And you know how salty it is. Three pinches is definitely the amount of salt. Feels good. You First like all, it saltier. Yeah. I you want think saltier? saltier but well, you're you the boss. You're the one no, that knows no. what we're talking about here. You need to think if your tortilla chips is already salty. Ah. Because if you add more salt in this one, your then avocado. It's, yeah, then it's too gonna much overpower. Salty. All right, well, are okay. we ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's I'll get see. a clean plate to serve. Oh, with wait, guacamole. we're actually gonna do this on a plate. We're gonna. Yeah. This is, this is fancy. Civilized. I was just going <laughs> to dig it in there. All right, let's see. Thank you so much. That's step okay. on hand. Now, how do we let's, want to serve it? We put some guacamole on the middle. Mm -hmm. A little bit, Beautiful. only for you. Okay. And we add some tortilla chips at the side. See, even the presentation is amazing. I love it. Very easy, very simple, and delicious. Check this out. Beautiful. Now go ahead. Well, this is the most important part. Yeah. This See, is we the did all that part. just so I could do this. Are you ready? You see mm -hmm. the textures? Mm hmm. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely see what you mean about the saltiness of the chips. Yeah. So, yes, I agree with you. A little bit more salt is beautiful if you like it saltier. I eat very low salt, so this is actually perfect for me. And I love the different textures. I actually like that it's not creamy guac. Okay, like I like that it's, yeah, that you can actually taste the flavor of the, the, the avocado and the texture of it, too. Yeah, that's the secret. I love it. Emmett is gonna hook you up with guac classes. You can learn to make your own guac here at Panama Jack Resorts. They do it poolside almost every day. Different recipes that you can take, authentic recipes, back home, straight from Cancun, Mexico. Thank you so much for hanging it's out with us. It's a I'm JJ Diaz. For you. Yes, I'm, I am coming back. Of course. I am coming back. Of course. I'm JJ Diaz for 93.9 MIA Rhythm from the 80s to now. This is